license plate and lights that work. FM Cruiser. All right, those are the Bratz dolls heading out for a night on the town, and they have a lot more money to play with than they did at the beginning of the week. Millions more, in fact. The Bratz are just one of the big legal stories I covered with Sonny Hassan, contributor to In Session on our sister network, True TV. Before we discuss dolls, I asked Sonny about problems facing one of the best known names in American sports. We were talking about kids, now let's talk about dolls. And these Bratz dolls, you've seen them, they're like the anti-Barbie. Mattel and then this uh, MGA company, they've been fighting over who actually owns this for a decade now. MGA got awarded $88 million. That's a lot of money to be, or to be uh, granted from Mattel. That's right. I mean, it really has been the battle of the dolls. It's been an epic legal battle about s over seven years, actually. And really, this Thursday, I would say Bratz kicked Barbie's butt. They <laughs> basically found this federal jury, after a, a full-blown trial, found that actually Barbie did not... Um, own the rights to the Bratz dolls. It was the Bratz dolls that, uh, it was Barbie actually, that misappropriated Bratz's trade secrets. This all really stems from the fact that the maker, the designer of Bratz was working for Barbie, working mm. for Mattel, when he dreamed up this incredibly lucrative billion dollar idea. Mattel fought back for years, basically saying we own the rights to Bratz. This jury said, no, you don't. Not only do you not own the rights to Bratz, you stole trade secrets. So major, major victory. But I don't think the battle of the dolls is over. Mattel recently said they are going back to court probably the end of May, and they are asking for a retrial. So yeah. who knows? Epic, epic battle. But big, big win for, for the Bratz doll. Thank you, Sonny Hostin. I bet Sonny Hostin, I bet Sonny looks great in hats, and I bet uh, Barbie does as well, and probably those brat dolls. Take a look at these hats. Any of them catch your eye for Easter or the royal wedding? We're going to talk hats and hat etiquette. Maybe I'll even try some on. You stick around, you'll see.